Hi, I'm Dr. Benjamin Rothstein, and welcome to Why Won't the Pain Go Away? Today I'm going to have a little anatomy lesson with you to explain to you why certain pains persist. Even though you're treating the spot, it seems to be going well, but the pain keeps coming back and over and over again. So I brought with me a little anatomy book. This book here is called Atlas Book of Human Anatomy by, by Frank Netter a fantastic medical artist. And what he has here, a great picture of the back. You see the picture of the back here, and of course the skin's taken away. Um, and look at them, how the muscles are all interconnected. This is a very, very important salient point to keep in mind. Look here, here's the back, here's the head, back of the head. Here's the muscles of the neck, the neck muscles right here, right? This is right here is called the trapezius muscle. And it goes in the back of the neck, down here to the shoulder, and then it joins with a deltoid muscle that goes into the upper arm, and then down the back, and it connects down here to the spine, to this big piece of fascia, goes right down here to the gluteal muscle that goes all the way down to your legs. You can see here, just on the simple anatomy, how everything is connected to everything else. So if you've got a problem with the muscle spasm down here in your low back or your buttocks, it's going to get you way up here and cause you pain in your neck. So oftentimes, chronic neck pain may have nothing to do with the neck whatsoever. In fact, it might really be due to a muscle spasm or problem way down low. Let me show you another picture here. These are a little more deeper muscle structures of the back. And, and look here, from the back of the neck, and all these go straight on down the spine to the tailbone, the, the sacrum. All the way down, here's the pelvis, and here's the sacrum. And it goes all the way down. So clearly a pain in the butt can give you a pain in the neck, right? It's all connected. So neck, low back, everything is connected. Upper arm, right? Here's the deltoid muscle that goes into your shoulder. It makes your arms move up and down. And this big muscle right here connects all the way down the arm. So if you have a problem in your arm, it can also give you a problem in your neck. So neck pains may have nothing to do with your neck. It may have everything to do with your shoulders, upper back, lower back, even your legs and lower extremities. So oftentimes the pain won't go away because you're treating the wrong area. And that's the area that is most important for your doctor to take a good, clear look at. That good, clear look at the entire body. Check out the entire body, what's going on. Don't get fall into the trap of treating the neck to get rid of neck pain. You have to treat the whole body for the neck pain, or back pain, or any other kind of pain you have. Anyway, thank you for coming. I'm Dr. Benjamin Rothstein. Thanks for joining me. Wishing the best of health and happiness.